Now to the latest in our Rebound Idaho series. Our newsroom is committed to bringing you the critical coverage throughout the COVID-19 pandemic and the recovery so we can all bounce back from this together. This morning, our Madeline White looks at how the Paycheck Protection Program, one of two lending programs designed to help small businesses, help keep Idaho's first medical school running smoothly. Imagine this one inch piece of paper represents one Idaho job. The SBA says they've helped businesses save through their PPP program so far during the pandemic. Now imagine I'm placing the squares one by one in a line down Capitol Boulevard. Traveling south for about 4.8 miles, the paper trail wouldn't stop until it reached Boise Airport. That's 305,422 squares, or in this case, Idaho jobs. Paycheck protection was intended for companies and educational institutions like us not to lay people off and not to do reductions in pay, but rather keep the engine running. And the president of Idaho's first and only locally based medical school says the Paycheck Protection Program did just that for them, in turn empowering Idaho's future generation of doctors. We expect an increasing shortage, an acute shortage of physicians in the coming years. And so we cannot simply be paralyzed and not continue to advance our mission of medical education. ICOM did have to close their doors for about three months, but President Farnsworth says their PPP loan, which according to SBA was somewhere in the one to two million dollar category, helped them keep their essential medical educators on board. We are deeply appreciative. It's really become something of a bridge, of a security net, keeping people like us from having to do difficult uh, layoffs at a time when we're a new school, really it's still a startup school, we could ill afford to lose essential faculty and staff. ICOM is one of about 7,500 businesses in Idaho who received PPP funds as part of the CARES Act. More data can be found on our website, IdahoNews6.com. Madeline White, Idaho News 6. And the SBA reports it's given out a total of at least $1.2 billion in loans so far. If you're a small business owner and have yet to apply, you can still do so until the August 8th deadline.